All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully you're having a good day. Friday's almost here. Super excited. So let's go to the place on Ma. I have been kind of sort of fighting a knight already. Um, because, yeah. That's after work. Oh, hi, I. How's it going? It's not Friday yet. Well, at least not for me. So I've been beating the snod out of this um, night since I got home from work. Like, granted, I took the dog out, but afterwards, I've been just beating the crap out of this lovely skeletal night. So I'm gonna head back. <clears throat> I did get some level, or a level. But at least I'm gonna distribute some skill points, and then we'll continue the venture. Um, so, I think we need to go save a princess. I'm pretty confident it's time to go save a princess. Alright, so let's get out of here. So. Um. I told you guys I'd be doing the level grinding off offline. Um, but yeah. Now, if I can find the little bracelet thingy I'm looking for, that'd be fantastic. Um. Also, as usual, let me know how the audio is, if it's too loud, if it's too quiet. All that fun jazz. Um, where is it? Why can't I find it? <laughs> oh, right there. Okay. Alright, let's go show some pictures. Distribute skill points, and then we'll continue onward with the story. So, hotel first. Oh uh, yeah, Miza sleeps. Sleeps. Photos. Get a crap ton of money. Gotta save. Okay, and then I'm going to go, um, might as well buy some film. That's a lot of money. Okay. And then, <clears throat> back here, train, uh, yeah, we got quite a bit, um, Okay, so level 10 is the max level. Okay, so I have leftover points. I guess I'll just dump them into something. Um, okay, and then <laughs> that's a lot of points. Um, okay, I this night is actually a really good spot. I, I fully admit I'm gonna do that a little more often. Now a little bit more often. I'm gonna do that often. I yeah. No place, no momo. Hi Nori, how's it going? Uh, so let's record since well our characters just powered up. Um, second floor. So let's go rescue a princess. You're tired. Go take a nap, and then I don't know. But at least the weekend's coming up, you know. Woot woot. Weekend weekend. Party party. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so we're heading to the north um west. I know my directions. <clears throat> so let's go hop on this boat. Do the sailing. So 
McTeddy has told me that we're almost near the end of the game. Like, it's just a bunch of side quests now, and then, like, the end. Oh, speaking of McTeddy, hi, McTeddy. <laughs> How's it going? Um, not bad. I just started streaming. So we're gonna go save a princess. I did a little bit of the, um, undead knight grinding, so I got a bunch of skill points. Um... So, that happened. Alright, I'm gonna quickly rest. Oh! Oh, is that the princess? A beautiful woman sits atop a extravagant bed. Cassandra, it is the princess! Holy pickles, that was easy. Who are you? I am Laplace's daughter, Cassandra. Won't you please get me out of here? I'm sorry, I've been trapped here for a long time, and I feel faint. I can't stand very well. Won't you lend me a hand? Still captivated by Cassandra's beauty, Pa extends a hand, even though that's totally not Pa, that's the detective. You're not Cassandra. Who are you? Oh, oh no. The not Cassandra grins evilly on a beautiful face. But you're mine now. Forget Cassandra. Be mine forever. I will give you pleasures unknown for all eternity, oh my. Oh, well, okay, it's a succubus. That, that makes sense. <laughs> I, I, I don't think she wants to talk. I think we just gotta, you know, beat her up. Um, we have another issue. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a pickle. Um, you're on your own then. I don't know, I don't know how to help you with that, McTeddy, but clearly people know the journalist is too good. <laughs> or it's a cash cow, I guess. <clears throat> 71 points! <laughs> 71 points of damage! That... That's a large number. Oh my goodness, I think Alec is now a, uh... I, I think our party's a little too overpowered. What a weird door! There's no keyhole, but it's locked. The door decoration was a switch to undo the lock. When I press the switch, I hear the lock open with a click. Oh, nice! <laughs> Sucky <you> bye. <laughs> oh, no worries, a punny. It's the same setup as the earlier room. A beautiful woman sits on top of the bed. Who goes there? You mustn't be here. Run far away. If my father Laplace sees you here, I don't know what will happen. Hi, Cassandra. The actual Cassandra. I'm oh, assuming. We're just gonna talk to you. <clears throat> yeah, that's gonna be a huge problem. I don't know how whether. The only other thing I could think of for you to get money is, like, see if there's a way to farm items that respawn. But I don't know what items exactly respawn in the mansion. Princess, you're safe. It's Bayard. Ah, Bayard. Thank you for returning to me. Princess, quickly now. Let's get you to safety. Princess Cassandra. Everybody knows who Cassandra is. Kenichiro, I'm glad to see you're safe. I hated my father when I was told you had died. Father is unwell, as you have said. He has realized that the demon is beyond his power to fully control. Just as I suspected. I'm going to go east from here to the Lake Witch's place. If you are in the area, please come see me. Pa, I must protect the princess. Go in good health. Poof. Okay, yeah, I figured he could disappear. Alright, we're back to three people. Sad party. There was a bug. Interesting. Could you not save the princess? Okay, so I need to go to the witch's um, hut. Which is just right here. Okay. Yeah, we got a little bit of a track 
to waddle. Oh, really? That's f that is funny. Princess Cassandra is here. She gives me a sweet smile and she sees me. I knew you'd come. I have a favor I must ask of you. If you'd but listen. What is it? We're ready to help in any way possible. Please, you must rescue my father. He may rule this world as emperor. But that's only because he used Laplace's demon to see into the future. Oh, he's a cheater. Cheater. And create an attack plan that couldn't fail. But the status and honor he acquired is empty because it wasn't earned. Possible. Ha ha. Hi, Edgar. <clears throat> My father knows this, but even so. He is using the demon still to secure the reign of his imp imperial throne. And so the demon's power has warped this world, obviously. There is like a giant pool on the third floor of the castle. Without his power, this world will vanish. My father is to blame for all of this, but it is not too late. I want you to talk with my father and have him break his infernal pact with the demon. Sorry, love, you expect too much from us regular folks. Oh, shut up, Alec. Our power alone is not enough to make Emperor Laplace give in. Well, my party members are just kind of negative Nancys. But you are not from this world, you see. The demon's power cannot predict or account for your actions. Oh, that is why he fears Kenichiro, Benedict, and all of you people. I believe defeating him will remove the demon's hold on him. It's totally legit I Okay. And this problem is not limited to only this world. Benedict's gateway here has alerted my father to the existence of another world. A world just on the other side of the rift. That's right, it's your world he wants now. Oh my goodness, what a twist! He wants to... I guess world domination. <laughs> Are you serious? Perhaps he wishes for a world to conquer without need of the demon. Roger that. It's time for us to stop standing around and save the bloody world. I, I guess so. Damn. I've got a bad feeling about this, but we have to give it a shot. I cannot thank you enough. My father should be on the fourth floor. A century of stone in statue shape blocks the entrance. It cannot be passed without permission. However, going through the area will also lead you to a path to his chamber. Okay, do you tell me anything else? <laughs> Are you hurt? Please don't overexert yourselves. You're the only hope my father has to end his obsession with the demon. My father should be on the fourth floor. Sentry stone his place. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Jabon. <clears throat> Might as well, since I'm here. In the dungeon on the island far to the south, I hear there's a man held there dressed- Okay. N I have not met him, but we've dealt with the skeleton, and I don't know exactly how to get rid of the skeleton. The old woman before you is small, but surprisingly dignified. Pa, I've heard you rescued Princess Cassandra. Thank you. It's not much, but please take this. The witch pulls out a ring made of crystal. Otherworld Annalis acquired. Don't make me worried. Okay, so... <clears throat> Can I run away? Can I enter this? The door's locked. So... I need to get to the fourth floor. But I still want to get... Yeah, because I think the stairs I need to go to are in that corner, and I don't know... I gotta figure out a way to crack that open.
I wonder... Actually, wait. I'm gonna talk to the Lizard Man. I... I think I have enough... Um... Charisma to talk to the, the Lizard Man next to this... The merchant. If I can speak English today. <clears throat> There's a lizard monster. It seems to be wary, holding a weapon. Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. I hear the skull knight who guards the lake's dungeon. Aha! Had a curse put on him so that he won't die. You best not take him on. I did, multiple times. And I, I, you know. I don't know how exactly. I don't know if I have to get rid of him. <clears throat> I hope not. Uh, let's buy some goods. <clears throat> hey, Barney. Yeah, th thank you. Thank you for the good luck. Um... Well, we, we saved a princess. I did lose a party member, though. Um... So, is there anything I can buy from him that's kind of key items? I love how he still has, <clears throat> you know, a shit ton of anti-compasses, apparently. Staff and wandy bug, can I equip them? Ah, uh, heck if I know. Yeah, I can. Well, I think this was one. Uh, actually, let me see if my medium can. Buy 99? Wait, why am I buying 99? Give me an explanation before we jump on it. I don't think I can equip. I'm trying to remember, is it the Druic? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, clearing my throat. Okay. So the skeleton is cursed. I need to figure out one how to crack open the cell. Cause I know the stairs there. Oh, I can actually oh, oh, I can actually move faster with this boat. I need one to get into that. Two to get into that. Do I have anything I can throw at this guy? I'm not worried if I die, or not die, but get rid of him. Almost physical, almost mental. Okay. Yeah, because I got the war wand of warding. Um, Okay, so I 
Because, yeah, this goes upstairs. And I don't think... I don't know if there's another way to go to the fourth floor. But I feel like I definitely need to open that door. I'm pretty confident Benedict possibly is there. Or someone else. I'm assuming Benedict. But I need... I need to figure out how to open that. Okay. Was there any locked doors here? I'm thinking there may have been. I insert the jewel say oh, scare up into the small depression and the door opens. Ah! Okay. Oh, oh, never mind. This is this. Okay, this is my other way going to the fourth floor. Fantastic. Oh, an elder sign. Hi. Oh my goodness, you're an elder sign. Oh, thank goodness. Oh wait, yeah, I remember being excited about that yesterday. Oh my goodness, my brain. All right, upstairs. I don't have a map of this place, which is unfortunate. Um, hopefully, I can find one. <clears throat> Incubus. Hi, bye. Um, this is the sacrifice room used in Master Place's ceremonies. Interlopers. Oh, I guess we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna fight. Can I just talk to you? No good, no talkers. Okay, I guess. I guess we're just gonna beat you up. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I don't like, I really don't like having, or the lack of maps, it just, it, yeah. Oh! <gasps> A sovereign girl sits in the corner. Oh my goodness, you found her! Um, uh, please take me home. Mom, help me. Okay, we found the missing girl, but the girl that we were, the reason why we came to the manor, we finally found her. Holy pickles. Alright, talk to Amy. It's Amy, the missing girl we heard about while in town. Drag off to be a part of some dark ritual. Oh yeah, she's gonna be sacrificed, technically. You're Amy, right? Your mother asked us to come and find you. Your mother's waiting for you, so let's get going. She tim timid uh, timidly inches closer to Pa. Amy is once again in safe hands. Yay. Okay. So, good. Now, technically, we could just end the game, Kappa. <laughs> we, we did what we needed to do. We found we found the missing girl. We, we could just end there and just, you know, go home. Um, let's go back. <laughs> no, no, I, she doesn't. Also, I don't think they had... TVs in New Cam, whatever year this is, 19 something year. Alright, let's go reunite her with her mom. Or not. Oh, wait, I think that's her. <clears throat> we brought Amy back. Her mother was waiting for us. Aww. Amy, I never thought I would see you safe again. Thank you all so much. It's not much, but please take this. $1,200 is its reward! I don't think I need it now. <laughs> it's alright, I. Uh, 5,000 experience. I'll take that. Alright, so that's it. Do your best, okay? Of course. There we go. Radios. There we go. She jumped out of the radio. <clears throat> Or the record player. We could go that way. Um, so many points with him, I don't know what to do. He's All he's been is just like, 
my melee. Like, I definitely feel like I took a lot, like, I took advantage of that poor skeleton, and I'm okay with that. Oh, 280 for a succubus that could be featured in a pinup magazine. There we go. We're gonna make a lot of money with that. Start publishing that in magazines. Alright, um, save. Stay. Leave. I wonder if the fortune teller would tell me what I- uh, obviously she's just gonna tell me what I need to do next, um, but, um, cause I know I need to go to the fourth floor, um, I really wanna know where the map is. <clears throat> Read fate, yes. I can see Benedict, oh my goodness. He is being held in a room in the southeast part of the third floor wall. Okay, so that is Benedict. The little POS is there. Yeah, yeah. The curse on the monster can be undone with a holy cup or talisman. <gasps> Wait. Do we? Do we not get a cup? I feel like I got a holy grail or holy cup. Did I not get a cup? <clears throat> Yeah, I got a chalice. Did I not use the chalice? I don't think I did. <laughs> did I accidentally holy grail? Maybe. Okay, I have a chalice. I'm gonna assume that's what I need to use on him. Okay. So, I have a choice, guys. I can- we can rescue Benedict, lose the skeleton, or I can sit there and kind of level grind. I- what is she- what is my main character at? Her strength is a- or her fighting's at 8. <clears throat> I feel comfortable enough that I could just go beat the skeleton up. Rescue Benedict. Yeah, Kusanabe, he's at 10. Yeah, I think I'm good. Like, his fighting is at level 10. We're fine. Let's continue on with the story. Oh, really? Huh. Alright, guys. Let's go rescue the um, asshole that put everybody in this mess. It's, you know, good thing to do. The one that uses forbidden math and, you know, tries to resurrect his mom and, you know, put everyone in this situation. You know, it's all, you know, yeah. We're gonna be those people. <clears throat> I'm so glad I can actually speed with this boat. Okay, so I'm assuming either I give him the chalice before combat or in combat. Uh, where's the chalice? <clears throat> no effect. Okay, I guess I gotta challenge him. And then maybe I... Nope. Uh, tools. Where's the chalice? And let's just guard and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I hold the artifact above my head. A white light radiates off it and the night staggers. It's a warm light. The curse placed upon me is broken. Wait. Shouldn't it be at the curse placed upon him is broken? <clears throat> The knight collapsed into a pile of armor, bone dust, and a talking skull. Hey, it's Murray! Murray! He Murray from Monkey Island made a cameo in the game. Holy pickles. Finally, I'm able to die, having fulfilled my mission beyond death. Only proof of my defeat can unlock the cell under my protection. Skull of Shivery acquired. Yay, we got Murray! Yes! Huzzah! Alright, um... <clears throat> the 
key to Benedict's prison. No effect. What? Am I supposed to interact with it? Oh, okay, there we go. The old skull is put into the place above the door. The eyes shine and the lock unlocks with a click. <clears throat> Alright. You. A man's crouch in the corner of the gloomy cell. It's Benedict Weathertop. A gasp. Benedict appeared. We can't punch him in the face. I guess we have to just talk to him. <laughs> there you are, Benedict. Abandon your fool's errand and return to New Cam, or risk even further tragedy. Kenichiro Kurosabe, you yet lit- wait. I'm looking at the cover of the game, and I could have sworn Benedict is the guy in the black cloak. That totally does not look like Benedict. What the heck? <clears throat> I saw motive kill you, yet here you are. I thought I would rot here eternally in the cell, but now I'm saved. I'll go peacefully and tell you everything. Without any hesitation at all, Benedict joins the party. Yay. Ooh, 3,000 experience. August level went up. Alright, yay, Benedict. Yay. <clears throat> oh, he's a dabbler. I guess a dabbler in math. Forbidden math and, you know, mystic spells. <clears throat> yeah, Benedict doesn't really look like Benedict at all. Wait, what does he do? What do you do? What do you do? Like, he doesn't look like himself. Like, uh, I feel like false advertisement. That totally doesn't look like the guy on the cover at all. I'm just saying. Um. <clears throat> okay, he has the same as what's his pickle? <laughs> Blood sucker, poison spray, heal the body. Okay, nothing really fancy. Not even a calculator. Yeah, he's he's just a dabbler, which is weird. Excuse me. Alright, so let's go. <clears throat> Head back to town. Excuse me. So, I guess... Transport to the hall. I don't know if there's any other quests I need to do besides talk to the father and knock some sense up into him. I feel like we're... This is basically like endgame. It feels like it. I could be wrong. I'm guessing I dropped Benedict off as the, at the hotel. Maybe. We don't have a prison, so... I guess not. Maybe the hospital? Ah, there we go. The receptionist glanced questioningly at the figure of Benedict. I will stay here and rest, but you take this. It's a key that will allow access to replace himself. Ah, so you have to save him anyways. Unfortunately. <laughs> he took out a beautiful emerald statue. It won't help me anymore. Emerald Effigy Acquired. <clears throat> Wait, it's an effigy. Do I need the scientist? <sighs> Spooky sounds of random dropping books? What? I... No? Question mark? <clears throat> I'm in endgame? Okay. Come and see me if you need the benefit of my exper expertise in these matters. Oof. I, I mean, I guess. I, I don't know what to do with this thingy of thingies. Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Lazy ass. I said I'd tell you about Laplace's castle. The place has five levels of environments. No shit. I've seen four. 
Tell me something more useful. The place keeps his throne on the fourth floor. No shit, I was told that by Cassandra. Try again. His demon doesn't dwell in the same... Sp oh, no shit. He's on the fifth floor. We were told that by somebody else. Try again. The place made sure that only he could contact it. I'm not quite certain how to enter that space myself. The place has a daughter that hates him named Cassandra. No shit, we just met her. Try again. She foolishly tried to use psychomancy to exercise... Er, yeah, exercise. Ex ex exorcist. Ex whatever. <clears throat> the demon from our world. She failed, of course, and went into a prison cell. Why had I been captured? I almost killed the place. I know that the demon can reverse the flow of time. I traveled here by Elder Sign in order to bring my mother back to life. And then I met Louis Vane. Louis Vane, who's that? <laughs> A wizard. He taught me many things. I feel like we talked to Louis Vane. I feel like he was the guy in the prison who was all like, Are you a friend of Benedict? And I'm like, yes, because I rolled a d6. A wizard, he taught me many things. He helped me come up with the place to steal the the plan to steal the demon. It seems Louis Vane despises La Place. <clears throat> he said he couldn't let a fool hold a great power. Just a little later, Kenichiro got in our way. But then Louis Vane deceived you, didn't he? I don't know quite what he's up to. Tell me more. The demon uses strong magic. But it can't be perfect. Even when the place started doubting the demon. The demon. Okay, that's that's all your time. This, this is all information I knew. Like, well, not all the information I knew, but like, <clears throat> yeah. Anywho. Okay, I guess let's go use our skill points. Um, actually, I'm gonna save them. Maybe spend his on something. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Previously on the place, no ma. Benedict, you're useless. Uh. <clears throat> okay, I guess. To the fourth floor. I would like to find the map, though, but I I feel like. Um. Uh, I don't know if I'll find the map right away. <clears throat> A daemon. Bye bye. I really don't feel like I need to fight any encounters anymore. Like it's I don't know. A minotaur. Ooh. I don't know if it's a pretty bad game design when your end game I'm just kind of you know cruising through things. Oh, another elder sign. Yes. Oot. I should save. Um. But yeah, the fact I'm just kind of avoiding encounters. I don't know if I'm actually strong enough to defeat La Place, but or La Place's demon. Pardon. But. Yeah. <clears throat> the oval skull is put into place above the door. Hopefully I'm making sense, guys. I'm sorry. Some days I don't. But I feel like I don't need to fight any of these encounters. I feel like I'm already overpowered, especially if I, when I have two characters that are at level 10. <laughs> well, well, the place the place is the gentleman that runs the castle. What a weird name, by the way. Am I making sense? Perfect. Okay. So, <clears throat> I need to find a map. Oh, there is pacing. Oh, oh, oh. There's a weird discoloration or distortion in the area to the south. Uh, can I use something? Um. Uh... 
Actually, no. <laughs> Have alert. Oh my goodness. Black mold. No. Um, use the bibble. The bibble didn't work. Um, nope. Holy oil? Nope. Okay, it must be something I need later. <clears throat> it could be I. I am throwing all the items at, you know, at stuff and things. So it, it could might as, you know, pretty much be, uh, might as well be English. <clears throat> the ammo effigy began to glow and a dazzling green light hit the door. The door opens. Huzzah. Oh, there's a demon. But we're going to ignore him. I'm going to explore everything else. Oh, hi. There's an old man with friendly eyes. Let's talk to the sage. Why would I want to fight the sage? Apparently he has friendly eyes. Laplace believed the world and all in it was made of math and thus measurable. <laughs> he also felt he played an important role in all of this. To know and control the calculations of the world that others could not. Eventually, he realized the role he had wished. To further those ends, he summoned Laplace's demon. Perhaps you can save Master Laplace. Let me give you this to help. The old man took out a staff made of crystals. Hayline Iris acquired. Ah, uh, let's talk to you again. Laplace believed the world and all. Yeah, yeah, okay. Math, 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 math. Don't do math, kids. Apparently, it's evil. Uh, let's talk to this person. There's an old lady spinning yarn. Hi. Seamstress. The place's demon has no concept of good and evil. It simply answers to the place's wishes and desires. Master Laplace fears that Benedict may be able to control the demon as well. You might be able to save Master Laplace. I'll give you these. Oh, map! <clears throat> I'm handed a, a map and a book that takes my breath away. <gasps> it's a romance novel, isn't it? <laughs> I've been looking through it. Mythos knowledge fills my mind. Learn fog of suffocation. There's an old lady spinning yarn. <laughs> Do you know what the actual... No, I don't. Um, is it E equals MC squared? Um. Okay, I'm just gonna leave her be. Okay, so. <clears throat> I've been down there. Um. I. Oh, I didn't go to the back of this one room. Okay, I, I wanted my backtracking, because where I saved Amy, um, there's an extra room behind that. I don't know if I went through that. Because, yeah, I just went here. Unless I'm wrong. I could just be brain farting. I could be brain farting. <sighs> <clears throat> I think I brain farted. Uh, yay, fairies. Um, okay. Yeah, I have no clue. The 
The atoms of the universe were determined, and through complex math, you could follow. My brain imploded already. I, a colossal stone vase, the stone figure. Wait, Cassandra told us about the st statue. It seems to sense me, and it speaks. Only royalty may pass. Only strength and wisdom decide royalty. Oh, well, you're an ass. <laughs> well, I guess I need Cassandra. I'm going to assume I need Cassandra. But I want to explore... There's two staircases um, I want to check out. Of time and control. So what you're implying is I need to master this math thing and then I can freeze time, take naps whenever I want, and have infinite energy. Is that, that's what you're telling me. Something's written on the door. If you have confidence in your wisdom, accept the challenge in the area of wisdom. Oh, I had to do trials. Oh. I think I'm smart. I hope I'm smart. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Also, Incubus, put some pants on. Seriously. How are you gonna fight me and keep your arms like that? Put some pants on. <clears throat> Ew, the music. Oh my. Do I have a map? Can I get a map? A strong power is at work here, blocking the way forward. A green-skinned monster wearing filthy-looking rags stands here. Its grin is ghastly as it lurches at me. Oh, hi, goblin. Can I talk to you? Welcome to the riddle room. Oh, god, riddles. <sighs> Just correctly answer a riddle from the monsters in each of the rooms, and you may meet Laplace. I highly doubt you'll be able to solve even one of them, though. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the, the confidence. Let's begin. This first question is... What is the name of the man who ma whose magic aided in summoning of the demon? Adolf? Or Moldiv? I think it's Moldiv. Well, well, you're correct. Head on to the next room. Yes! <clears throat> whoop, 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 whoop. A very quiet and polite woman is here. She quickly bows after noticing me. Succubus, you are very polite. Welcome to the second riddle room. Here's your riddle. What is the name of Laplace's daughter? That's Cassandra. Third option. <laughs> Correct. Please proceed to the next room. Waddle waddle. A wavering black shadow suddenly appears in front of me. Hi, shadow. Let's talk. Third riddle in the room. You know the drill by now. Thank you. What is the name of the knight who pledged... Oh, Bayard. Um, precisely. Continue on to the next room. Waddle, 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 waddle. <clears throat> it says, Four rooms left... To squeeze all the wisdom out of you. Okay. A human face oozes out of the wall. Hi. I you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad, though. I I really just want to take a picture of this face. <laughs> this is the fourth riddle room. What is La what is Master Laplace's first name? Uh... Pierre? <clears throat> did they ever mention his first name? I don't think they did. This is totally a trick question. His first name is Laplace. Pierre. I feel like it's, he's a Pierre. Exactly. Yes! 
Get into the next room. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Pierre and history. Wait, did you actually say the name? Maybe that's why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of scoot up here. Also, I turned up the volume by accident. I apologize, guys. I'm still getting used. I'm still getting used to the setup in the my new stream. Let it stream setup English. Oh. Okay. Blah. I think the first note you get it has his name. I don't remember. A small girl with a dragonfly wings buzz down in front of me. <clears throat> Fairy. Talk. Here's the fifth riddle. Now is when it gets hard, so you best be ready. Oh, good. What is the name of the powerful stone giant? Animated by the power of magic. It's the golem. But as a trick question, it could be the gargoyle. I don't think I told you, but the note you get from the mania don't say force. I don't think I got that note, but I don't think my fast talk was high enough to talk to him. See, technically it's a golem. Gargoyles, I don't think, are made. Well, no, they're created to guard things. But, like, golems are known to be... No, golems are known to be creations of alchemy. I'm tempted to do two. Because, like, I'm, I'm thinking... Well, golems... Uh, now I'm overthinking this. <clears throat> I'm gonna go two, and if I'm wrong... Too bad. Try again. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, I know I need to get royalty, so I should go get Cassandra. Um... So is Golem. Damn it, I overthought that. Oh well. Ah, <sighs> Tap Panda. Can do something. Well, no. Apparently, another shop opens up um, later on. Um, it's Jabon opens a shop, apparently. Actually, speaking of that. Yeah, I met him. Alright, see if I can get Cassandra in my party, because apparently I need royalty. You heard, please don't, you know, I have a father, the father for a floor, never mind. <clears throat> okay, I guess not. Pickles. Okay, then I'm just going to make this quick. Okay, transport me to the fourth floor, thank you, let's go. I wonder if we'll be able to beat this tonight. If not, definitely- oh, Hydras! That's unexpected. How the hell are they fitting in these rooms? <laughs> okay, so let's do the riddles again. Do I have to do the puzzles? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, good. I was worried I had to repeat all, like, the riddles again. Okay. <clears throat> that's, that's really good.
Okay, here's the fifth riddle. Okay. <sighs> Number three. Somebody's been studying. You may continue to the next room. How many riddles do I have to solve? Oh dear. A werewolf now. Here is the sixth riddle. What practice in alchemy is said to transmute lead into gold? Oh. Chrono Trigger! It's totally Chrono Trigger! I, I want to say it's Crystal Crystallis. That sounds right. I don't think it's Chrono Trigger, although Fantastic SNES game. <clears throat> I'm going to try Crystallis. Too bad. I think. Ah, oh, damn it. It better not be Chrono Trigger. I end up. Oh, weird. Wait, what? That's wrong. That is really wrong. I'm back to the bottom. That that compass, that map and compass, just it, it apparently it's glitched. Okay, now it fixed. It's it, it fixed itself. Good. Okay. Oh, is it- oh, is the thing that Caterpillar was built? Oops. I'm gonna try the first option. It can't be Chrono Trigger. I- Maybe. I'm gonna try the first option. I'm glad I don't have to do the riddles again. Okay, so... Chrysopia. Correct. Continue to the next room. Okay. A lizard man this time. Uh, talk. This is the final riddle. Oh, thank goodness. What is the meaning of the tower card used in reading the tarot tarots? Or tarot. Oh my goodness, tarot cards. Tarot cards. Blah. Um, the tower. Um, I think the tower is supposed to be destruction. It's not justice, because there is a justice card. I don't think it's success. I, I think it's destruction. I don't remember. Shoot, this is like shit young Paul would know because she loved Persona, like the original personas and shit. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with three. You have answered all the riddles. Yes! King Laplace grants you an audience. <laughs> wait, wait. <clears throat> don't I have to go through part B? Is that it? I don't have to go through the other one? Weird. Okay. I, I solve things with my brain. Okay. I guess we'll go talk to the king. Hi. You're the king. A very tired old man sits on the throne before me. I can sense great power behind his eyes. But there's much madness inside there as well. This can only be the place. More intruders from Earth's 20th century, I see. Whatever you're planning, it will fail. Go home. The place appeared. Let's talk to you. <clears throat> Hot the invasion. How droll are you? Giving commands to a monarch. You never comprehend my plans for your world. If you wish me stopped, then stand against me. Should you defeat me, I'll seal the Elder Sign and halt the invasion. If I win, your souls are a sacrifice to the demon. For he has a special power. With your souls, it forges a connection to your world, extending his power there. Oh my goodness, it's a trap. In other words, your souls will be served as its beacon. So what would it be? My prof 
Prophetic powers cannot affect you, so we shall fight on equal terms, shall we? Can I just talk? No good, no talkers. There is no future for this world, no free will. All outcomes are known, predicted by Laplace's demon. Things happen only by my will and mine alone. <clears throat> I sought a perfect world. But what I found was boring and sterile, devoid of novelty. But I can start anew. This time I will create perfection. Laplace attacks. Okay. I isn't there an item he was looking for? I don't remember. I'm just gonna try stuff. Why not? If it doesn't work, I'll just beat the snot out of him. But I'm pretty confident I'm just gonna have to fight him. I guess I just have to defend. I I could be wrong. I feel like I'm incorrect. No, nothing happens. Okay, well let's take let's just go for it. If I'm wrong, oh well, shoot. <laughs> Banish. Whoa, he just upgraded spells. Aha! Uh -huh. What's Sigurd? Oh, it's Long Hebeus. <clears throat> Damn. You go, Pa. <laughs> Take your pictures. Um. I think this has been a good time to switch paw to a melee weapon. <clears throat> yeah, I really should have. And I don't think I can equip stuff. I'm defeated. Laplace's demon could not foretell the victor. For the first time, I have found something the perfect demon could not divine. Princess Cassandra asked of you to please break your pact with Laplace's demon. You're worried that the demon is dangerous. It is under my control. There's nothing to fear. Besides, this world relies on the demon's power to even exist. Bye, quo weary, leave me be. I shall close the other sign as promised. You must return home quickly or be trapped here forever. Uh, I... Um, which reminds me, if we're talking equipment, I, I think we have to give her a little, you know, the demon, obviously. Um, 
Let's do the combat trident. Okay, Pa is Pa's just like shit just got real. I need to equip weapons and fight. So <clears throat> I feel like I need to talk to Cassandra. So let's go talk to her. Cause maybe she can knock some sense into her father. Pause, I don't think the ending should be we just, you know, go back home and call it a day. Well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe this is the end. Who knows? It kind of feels like it's not. Um, so let's go talk to her and see if she says something else. If not, I guess that's it. If so, it's very anticlimactic. Plus, there's still the other gentleman that can try to control the pl like the place's demon, and he's still running around somewhere. Today's news is hot. <laughs> and full of bullet holes. Okay, so let's talk to her. I talked to your dad, he's a jerk. Um Alright. Am I winning? Not yet. We're almost at the end though. My father didn't let go of the demon, as I expected. But at least he's given up on invading your world. For that I'm glad. My ills are all that remain now. Please return to your own world. You have my blessing. Wait. Are we done then? Is this the end? Did we just go back home? I... I... Please return to your own world quickly before the Elder Sign closes. Wait, this doesn't seem... Right. Am I wrong? Like, there's still that... Um... No, there's still one place we haven't checked on the fourth floor. There's that dimensional black mold stuff. Um... Now, the only thing I can think of, and we can try this, is we could save and then see if we go back to our world, what happens. Ah, uh, this is the place no ma, or the place is demon. It's a, um, horror uh, RPG on the, on the uh, SNES. It's actually really good. Um, I'm really liking it. It does have flaws, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, <clears throat> now, where is the circlet? I'm blind as a bat. Where is the circlet? <laughs> oh my goodness. There it is. Okay, we're gonna save. Record. And then we're gonna head out of here. As promised. <clears throat> yes. I'm back in my world. O okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, Benedict is, oh no, he's, uh, was he up here? No, oh, he's, he's somewhere. You could, um. 
But no, definitely, definitely not. Oh, okay. maybe I'll talk to the bartender. You know, I should just go the fortune teller. Maybe I'll do that and be like, what? Oh, wait. <clears throat> the police are probably waiting at the hospital to question Benedict. I didn't see any police. I, 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 I think Benedict just peaced out. Um. Oh, police officer here, what's going on? The police are probably waiting at the hospital to question Benedict. Okay, so I'm heading back? Man, this doesn't seem like... I'm at the hospital, but no Benedict. I'm not going to save because, well, yeah. I'm assuming the police came and took Benedict? So... Oh. The police are probably waiting at the hospital to question Benedict. Well... Where the fuck is Benedict? <laughs> Ike. Did I get weapons? I haven't checked the weapon shop in ages. I'm assuming we're not done yet. The ninja with you. What ninja? <laughs> you should buy lots of batteries and bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you know where Benedict went? He was with a magician that injured some police. Oh, oh shoot. Fighting that kind of evil has got to be really tough, maybe even the toughest. I hate to beat the evil that can stand up to these. Acquired a submachine gun and shotgun and sh what? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Well, I, I have my endgame party. I don't know if I can add a fifth um, character. <clears throat> Oh, Kusanabe, us, uh, yeah. Okay. So... I have a gun. <laughs> but there's nothing... I don't think I actually need weapons. Like, I do have a gun. And I guess I can give, give it to Alec. Because, damn. It's groups of enemies, detectives, fire many shots. Well, heck yes. Take the submachine gun. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go back to the hospital. Even though it says that when you're ready, go back. Okay. Well, we know Benedict is clearly back in the castle. Actually, I'm curious. What does the fortune teller say? <clears throat> An ominous shadow sneaks up on Benedict. You should venture to the hospital. But I was there. I guess I have to actually enter the room and then he'll be there? Okay. 
Pop, Benedict escaped. Okay, I gotta talk to you. They said he went to Weathertop Hall with a man in a black robe. Oh no. Leaves. If they need special bullets. I didn't see any special bullets. I do have the silver um, bullets. Well, hello, La. How's it going? La, we're at the end game. Shit just got reels. I got a machine gun and a shotgun. Shit just got reels. Um, I, I mean, I can, I can s stock up on Quicksilver shots and that. Where are you gonna put it? I, I, I talked to the nurse. We're good. Um, so... <clears throat> Okay, uh, Quicksilver. Okay, I'm full. Okay. You can get there in the castle only. Okay. Oh, you know, I. I bet you I know where. Alright, I'm just going again. Oh, that sounds like a fun time, Law. <laughs> All right, let's go deal with endgame stuff. Arriving at Laplace's castle, I'm surrounded by guards. You're on a fool's errand trying to assassinate Master Laplace. Benedict's lackeys. Oh, god damn it! Where is Louis Vane? Uh, all the guards attack at once. Uh, why is the journalist in here? She, excuse me, she's not in my party. S please. Why is she here? <laughs> also, why is the dabbler? Come on. Uh, this is normal. Okay. Can I talk my way out of this? No good. Things change a bit? Okay. Oh, there I go. I'm- I'm- I'm fighting now. There we go. A man's voice suddenly could be heard. Pa, hurry. Was that Adolf's voice? Hurry. The voice grew faint. Well, I'm guessing I need to go to the fourth floor. I feel like I want to go to the third floor, though. Um, oh, seems Benedict's seal on the other side is impossible to break. We're trapped here. Oh no, we can't return to New Cam. Well, we can go forward or forward or forward. Hi, Booster. You haven't sealed away, you can't return to New Cam. Okay. So I have to, I guess, take the long way. <clears throat> I can't use my fancy transportation. Too cute. I'm sorry, excuse me, the journalist only had one one purpose in this run. Go through the door. Okay, we'll go through the door. I hope he means this door and not the other door. Oh, hey! Yay, it's you! Adolf's standing here. Pa, Lady Cassandra's waiting at the witch's house by the lake. Well, I was gonna go there anyways. For now, I shall send you to the courtyard on the south end of this floor. The castle is in chaos because of Benedict's intr- God damn it, Benedict! You had one job! You failed! <laughs> Please hurry while you have the chance. Be careful. Uh, ooh, I heard Amaretto's supposed to be good. It's, it's very, like, milky and, like, cream-based. Adolf chants a spell. Oof. <clears throat> There's a sighing woman here. Oh, you're the crazy one, aren't you? I think that's the crazy one. The guards won't follow you all the way here. I hope Adolf's safe too. Oh, never mind. Okay. So I have to get back to the lake. And I think I get there by taking the left path. 
question mark. Yeah, oh, nope, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I'm actually supposed to go left. Shoot. I, I really, I kind of want to see the other games translated, like specifically the original one. Um, oh, it's Almond, okay. Okay, that's my bad. Um... Actually, I don't know why, it kind of... Camper Amarado kind of reminds me, there... Near my work, there's a liquor store. And... Oh! Oh, company! I, I see Bayard! I should actually go talk to Bayard. Sorry, I'm being distracted. Um... But the liquor store is actually expanding and they're opening a convenience store, which is dangerous because I mean I can go get like chips and snacks. And I don't know what else they're gonna sell at that convenience store, but it's gonna be pretty convenient and really close to work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go talk to you. Ah, so you're safe. Princess Cassandra is waiting. As I have been instructed to escort you, I shall accompany you. Yes. Bear, do you know what Benedict is? Sir Kenichiro, Benedict's whereabouts remain unknown to me. But I would venture to guess he's hiding with Louis Van beneath the castle. But we are ill-prepped to go there in the state. Let's us seek safety for now. Okay. <clears throat> Yay, I ha I I'm hoping this is my final party, because I'm so used to this party. Yay. Okay, now let's go talk to... Oh, Jabon. If it isn't Jabon! He sees me and is coming this way. Oh no, the chipper, chipper guy. Princess Cassandra awaits. Okay, cool. A woman of great beauty standing before me, obviously, is Cassandra. Pa, glad to see you safe and sound. Since Benedict's returned to the cat oh, God damn it, Benedict. I should have left him to rot. I thought you might also, so I sent for Bayard and Adolf. It seems Benedict is hiding beneath the castle, but the guards my father dispatched, enthralled to his paranoia, are now blocking the entrance to the Undercroft. My father is deeply afraid and is doubting his own, si own station. If we try now, we may be able to pursue him to relinquish the power of the demon. Please take him this letter and persuade him of the errors of his ways. Cool. Uh, uh, long ago, my father was a mathematician. But something changed when he conceived of the demon, of the power to sell all futures and to choose the one you wish. Actually, can I talk to you more about that? Nope. Okay. Nope. I don't want to talk to her anymore. I'm just going to run away from her. She scares me. Like, just, just scares me now. This looks like a bedroom. No shit. Uh, let's rest for free, which is nice. Let's, I guess, save and let's waddle away. Ah, ha, ha. I think I can buy stuff from him now. Jabon's here. This is Jabon's tool shop. Need something? Of course. Tex. Which? Oh, wait. Oh, I can buy stuff. Oh, that's sickle. Ah, I can learn spells. I'm gonna learn them all, and I'm never gonna use them. <laughs> Fo- Fo- Logic- Fo- Log- It's something something explosion. <laughs> would waddle again? I would definitely waddle again. Okay. 
Um, bye. What do you have? Scottish Claymore. Damn. For PIs, <laughs> veterans, or Kusanabe. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder if that's good for Kus... Well, it's gotta be really good for Kusanabe. <clears throat> ammo for firearms. Ooh, ammo for shotguns. Okay. I don't know if I need the shotgun. I feel like the machine gun is gonna be... I don't know. You know, I'm... Do I buy... All classes, low defense, usable by mediums and scientists. All classes, usable by mediums. I don't think I need to roll a film anymore. Um, okay, I think I'm going to buy some shotgun shells. Um, we're just gonna stock up on some more standard rounds. Uh, I'm gonna buy this for Kusanabe. Hundred fifty sounds fantastic. There we go. And I can't carry any more. Okay, so, um, so I wonder if that's better than the katana. And can I equip you into anything? I can. Ooh. No, wait. Oh, I need, I should upgrade his weapon as well. I don't know if he's going to be staying with my party to the very end, but... But I got money to burn, so I'm not opposed to decking him out. Okay, so I need to go talk to the dad and snap some sense into him. Get back. Good. You find the princess in. S She's right there. I scrounged up as much good stuff as I could manage. The left exit to the north leads to Jabon's shop. The right exit to where the wary can find some res respite. Katana's a true weapon. That's true. That's very true. But if possibly that is a better weapon, then we're going to take it to Murdoch. Hello. Ah, uh, it's going pretty good. We're playing, we're, we're at the end game of a Laplace No Ma. Oh, he's staying? Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Because I actually really liked him as my fifth party member. I know I... <laughs> Unless you've met the fifth guy. Who's the fifth guy? I've only met... I met Joanne. I met Adolf. Adolf, he didn't stay. He, he fought Moldif and then he just kind of pieced out. The guard. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Actually, there was a thief. I forgot about. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot about the thief. The thief had Laplace's gem. Oops. I don't know where that thief went. I'm assuming he just disappeared forever in the game because I didn't find him ever, ever again. Oh, well. <laughs> no, it, it, no, no worries. No worries, McTeddy. Like, I could have missed something in this game. I, like, I'm even, like, thinking, I don't know if the... I hope people stay. Specifically a fifth party member. But, um, what was I saying? Like, there was a thief, and I don't know what happened with the thief. I, I let him out of his prison, and then he pieced on out. But I unfortunately don't know what else 
Well, yeah, there's a bond. Um, but no, I meant there there was a jewel, a, a gentleman who was a thief that stole a jewel, and I don't know, yeah. And I know Jabon was someone I rescued, and Joanne. Um... I see a guard, and he sees me as well. He raises his weapon and attacks. Okay, so I feel like I should go left because I don't think I can get past that guy. And I could be wrong, I may have to go that way. Some power seals the way and it seems to be rather impenetrable to entry. Ah shit, so I do have to face the gargoyle. I am Laplace's servant. This is a path only he may pass, leave at once. Shit. And let me guess, I actually do need Cassandra. Yes, I, I'm guessing I need Cassandra. Um, are you here to see Master Laplace? If anybody could stop him, it'd be you take this. Mistletoe Rod Acquired. That should weaken Master Laplace's magic. Okay. Do I get an item from you then? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I actually didn't know Jabon was a thief. I assumed he was just, you know, random, very happy person in this castle, fairy. Elf character. King Laplace is not the only one who can influence his servants. Those of his bloodline will be, will be obeyed by his creation as well. So, am I supposed to use this mistletoe thingy on the... Um, this guy? I'm gonna place a servant, blah blah blah, I'll leave it once, I'm gonna throw a mistletoe at you. No effect. Damn it. Ha! Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to use it on this. Some power seals the way. Okay, let's try that. All the way back to the bottom. No effect. Okay! Mm, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I feel like I need to go to Cassandra and be a Wait! There's still the black ominous stuff over here. Maybe I'll just use the the this thingy. Maybe. No effect. <sighs> oh. Me Opens path hiding the emperor. <sighs> Maybe I'm supposed to give the letter to the guy? The the statue? I'm a little... I feel like I hit a wall. 
<clears throat> Unless I'm supposed to have Bayard in the front of the party? Maybe. My other option, because I can access... That's what I'm thinking, because only royalty can pass. And it makes sense that I would need her. I'm gonna head downstairs. Yeah, because I can go back. Okay, I, I can't. Can I use the other sign? It's closed. Uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna head back to Cassandra because <clears throat> there's nothing else I can do and like it said earlier only royalty can pass Oh suddenly suddenly something something warps Okay shit's happening <laughs> Sorry, I it's holding A. We meet again, warriors from another world. Ah, it's that evil dude. Oh, what? You just expect to return here, settle down, and live happily ever after at the end? Uh, it felt like it. Oops. <laughs> what horrible goal have you in mind now, Louis Vane? Or Louvain? <laughs> I, I think you mentioned Law that I should play that. I've not played Seventh Guest. Or Seven Saga, sorry. I saw Seventh, my mind went to Guest. I own Seven Saga, I have not played it. Actually, no, I played like the first five minutes. I was like, oh my god, this, this, it works. That's good. <laughs> sorry. I can read. Definitely can read. I'm just gonna, why? I'm just gonna kill the place and take the demon away from him. Brilliant, haha, of course you are. What the hell for? Crush the Louis Vane, do as I command at once. Not just yet, Benedict. Ah, Benedict, you asshole. <clears throat> okay, seventh guest, okay. I... <sighs> if left alive, you know they're definitely getting in my way. So if you won't kill them, then I will. God damn it, Benedict, you're such a POS. No, it's it was I. Sorry, I. Yeah, my bad. It's awkward. Stop you fool! They are not to be taken lightly. They managed to defeat Laplace, as you recall. I've long since surpassed Laplace's power. I can easily eliminate them. Ha! <laughs> That's enough, Benedict. Damn it. You people from the other world. Further conflict between us is pointless. The outer sign is sealed, and you have no means to return to your world. Do you really wish to die so far from home? Don't you have loved ones you want to see? My powers can send you back. Oh, yes. How about it? Turn to New Cam. Oh, this would be a perfect time to say yes. I imagine this is the bad ending. Obviously, I'm going to say no. Is that character you punch it? Oh, jeez. That's insane. I'm gonna say no for obvious reasons. Oh, I, I see you. Oh, well. Alright, Louis Vane, I'm gonna beat you up. I got a bone to pick with you. Gun gear. Um, medium, deism, purify. Oh, that's new. Wait, is this one of those fights I can't beat? It is, isn't it? Beat him. 
Because all we're doing, he's just dragging shit off. <clears throat> Don't lose? Okay. But he's dragging everything off. Like... Oh, but I'll rely- I relieve you- you of that rod as I go, thanks. Louis embarks a spell, mystical rod stolen. Damn it! Now can I fight you? Yeah, this is a guy. Oh, yeah, I... No, you can't. I figured. Pa, oh, you must flee. <clears throat> they are threats straight at Louis Vane. Feel the power of the Holy Sword bestowed upon me by the princess. Louis Vane suffers 99 points of damage. Damn. You must run away when you still can. Louis Vane attacks. No, bear, no! No, no! That's all this help. No! He's in the negative points. There's no way of going back. Baird! Sorry, Baird. No! Baird, no! No! Oh. Pania successfully escape and return to the old witch's shack. No! He was my favorite party member. Damn it. <clears throat> you did have a holy sword. Do I have it? No. Man. God damn it. Yeah, I'm so depressed. <laughs> okay, rest. I guess I'll save. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, where's the sack? I need to take that back and resurrect him. A woman of great beauty standing before me. <clears throat> I don't see Bayard. What happened? Pa informed her of Bayard's death. Damn it. Oh, I see. He was a knight to the end, wasn't he? Cassandra looks down sadly. Aye. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's terrible. <laughs> you need my father's permission to enter his room. I can help. I get the feeling that if I run away now, I'll I'll never see my father again. Yay, she joined, finally. Jesus, woman, you should have joined earlier. I bought a sword for Bayard, too. I didn't give him the holy sword. He said he, he used it. I gave him the Scottish whatever Claymore thing. He said he, he had the Holy Sword or something. Um... I need to go up. Yeah, no, it was a pretty badass sword. Like, where did he... <clears throat> I'm assuming I'm gonna get it pretty quick. It, it screams ultimate holy weapon of power. Oh, company. Oh, she can fight. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> okay, where am I supposed to go? I'm too distracted. Ugh. Um. Get back to third floor or fourth floor. I'm brain farting. I actually think I was going the right way. Oh dear. Did I screw myself over? I didn't even know this holy sword existed. Oh! Can I go back and get it? 
or am I completely out of getting the sword? <laughs> oh, I. I do want to know if I get this. I, I think I'll be fine without it. That's just me talking, but... No idea. Oh, oh good. Okay, you're reading now. That's fine. I gotta remember how to get back to the fourth floor. Hi, Arch. How's it going? Okay, so... <clears throat> See, I know Lux because i um, watching the speedrun for Seventh Saga. I should be fine either way. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm doing a lot of damage. I need to get back to the stairs. Still just a weapon. Yeah, I had no idea the sword existed, so it must be- it- <laughs> The game never- I don't think the game actually mentioned there was a holy sword in this game. I didn't even know. So... Yeah. No, this game is very vague um, in regards to what you need to do. Still the most powerful melee. Mind and body. Damn, that is powerful. Jeez. Unfortunately, I don't have it, and I guess, yeah. Still not needed. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm having problems getting to the fourth floor. <clears throat> I am brain farting on where I, I'm like my mind's going to do I have to go through the mirrors like I don't remember how I got back to the fourth floor oh really Wait, I'm being dumb. I know- oh my goodness, I am really being dumb. I remember where I need to go. Oh my goodness, I brain farted. <laughs> oh my goodness, Pa, this is- this is a huge brain fart of epic proportions. I remember now. It's all coming back. Ah, uh, okay. Hair. Ugh. There. Now we're at right Edgar, we're at the right spot. I have I have Edgar on my lap. He, he adorable little turd. Oh my goodness.
There we go. There's the bloody stairs. <sighs> yeah, I, I may be still running this law. We may be near the finale, too. What does she do anyways? What? What? Um, what is Cassandra? I never check what kind of class she is besides princess. Like, she can't cast magic. Nope, she's just a princess that can fight. Okay. Um, actually, what does she have equipped? And can I take her, her weapon? I'm curious. Not really. <laughs> I'm just curious. She's mostly a healer. Is she? Well, I imagine she's not going to be useful. Oh yeah, Sergi's eight. That's pretty high. Also, I see the maid down there. If you're serious about fighting Master Laplace, you probably should see the old spinstress. Oh, I already did. And, you know, oh, hellhounds. You know, the weapon got taken. Stupid Benedict. Screen's a weasel, really. Cassandra approaches the stone statue. I'm Cassandra, Laplace's daughter and part of his bloodline. Guardian of Laplace, I order you my father's name open the path. I cannot disobey one of Laplace's names. No, I don't think I actually, like, early on I did. I definitely used he some healing items and some, you know, magic, but <clears throat> healing's kind of... Like, the fact that the game lets, lets you rest, the healing items aren't really beneficial. Like, it, it is in combat sometimes, but, like... I never. Once I figured a whole the the rest mechanic that you can rest after every combat, yeah. Cassandra's voice rings out clearly. Father, I must tell you something. Please come out and meet me. The place's voice rumbles. Dot 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 dot. Cassandra and our guests from another world. Step before me. Waddle waddle. Sat against the wall was King Laplace on his throne, his face twisted with rage. You who would conspire with Benedict to usurp the power of my demon. You are not worthy to wield the transcendent power that my demon bestowed upon me. You misunderstand, father. These people do not work for Benedict. Hear me out. We just want to save you, father. Save me. I don't need saving. Mm, yeah. Laplace's demon is too much for you to handle. It will consume you and this world before long. Relinquish its power. I was wrong. Repentance now will change nothing. I am damned. It's too late for me. Otosan. Leave. Get out of my sight at once. Just then a black shadow appears behind Laplace. Oh my goodness, it's Benedict, the asshole. Father behind you. Benedict, impossible. You can only thank Cassandra for removing the guardian. I'll show you just how pathetic you are without Louisvin's aid. I'll show you true proof of sovereign majesty. Checkmate. Benedict raises the mistletoe rod and light bursts forth from it. Damn it! Is this divine M annulment that's a mistletoe rod my powers have left me now that your supernatural powers have been frozen out you're just another man just another man whose fate it is to freeze to death inside my icy nip oh right there's a person that we fro that was frozen that i never saved either oops that must be benedict's shenanigans then but my power the place is toppled from his throne. Father. Cassandra steps between the two of them. 
Benedict, please stop. Even if you acquire Laplace's demon, all that awaits you is destruction. <laughs> that foul monster is beyond anyone's control. You're wrong, Princess Cassandra. Where your father failed, I shall succeed. Louis then has awoken a new power with me. God damn it. Stupid Benedict. Now, Cassandra, obey my will and come to me. You're a key part of the ceremony to open the way. To the space where the demon- Oh, is that black mold? I bet you. No, please. Benedict, let's let go of Princess Cassandra. She's already mine, fools, and now I have everything for my pact with the demon. God damn it. <clears throat> with strength, is this Louis Van's doing? This is nothing like the Benedict from before. What are we going to do about Cassandra? Well, obviously we're going to save Cassandra. Perhaps he intends to sacrifice her. Oh, we need to go to the sacrifice room. Okay, good to know. If we don't save her quickly... Roger that. Onward. Wait. I can hear a voice coming from the throne. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Laplace's life is embedding away, but he stirs faintly. You must stop Benedict. No shit. He cannot possibly control Laplace's demon. None can. The demon show me all possible futures. So I could craft my own, but what value is there in a future without novelty? Beware of Louis Van as well. He is also but a puppet of the demon. No, it may be best to say he's the dark shadow of my own mind. Louis Van sprang from my own doubt of the pact I made. My own fears of Laplace's demon birthed him. You see, the demon cannot judge morality. It responds only to your desires, your needs. And it does not discern between good or evil. Louis Van's goal is dark, one I had tried to bury inside. And now to fulfill this desire, I had tried to suppress. He used Benedict to try to steal the demon's power. And he still harbors one of my other dark desires, to conquer the world. Da, da, da. I bestow upon you, my royal Regilia, my crown and ring. Donning my crown would cause all secrets of the demons, demises to show themselves to you. Show the ring cross to Louis Van and, he, and remind him of his humble origins. It's the pact which first bound his power to this world. The demon bade Louis Van from my mind based on the raven crest of this ring. Having possession of it is a form of power over him. Elder Ring and Laplace of Regalia acquired English. I wanted to build a perfect future, but now I have no future at all. Place this life faded away. Damn. It's Laplace's corpse. And it's not in a in a sack. <sighs> Alright, well, I think I know where I need to go. And that is. Um, the bottom left, where that black mold is. <clears throat> and I think we're actually at the finale. Alright. Oh yeah, it's a door. Oh no, sacrifice room. Right, I need to go save Cassandra. Right, I forgot. Oops. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I forgot. Nope. Not there. Okay. Then yes, we need to go to the dimension. I think. I hope. Ah, uh, right there. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's okay. We're in a whole different world. With ghast. A gasp. And no music. This is weird. <laughs> Don't you dare close your eyes. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should sing Katamari. Oh, never mind. I forgot music. Never mind. I forgot dramatic music. Um, I'm gonna quickly check over here. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <clears throat> uh, my healed. 
Now I am. Okay. I see before me an ornate altar atop which the unconscious Cassandra is being crucified. Oh no, it's decked out in ceremonial garb before the altar is Benedict. God damn it, Benedict. He holds a dagger and is chanting a strange spell. Hopefully it's not mathematical equations. <laughs> the stars are right and fate will see the path now opened. Oh great demon who sees all future. May the sacrifice be your beacon into this cursed world. Hot. Now one more step. That's enough, Benedict. Pa, how'd you get here? I... I... I waddled. I see you've come to stop me, but you're already too late. God damn it. Benedict thrusts his dagger into the Princess Cassandra's ribcage and she gasps. No! Blood gushes out onto the altar and she goes limp. No! Oh, for Cassandra. Princess Cassandra, no! A rift in the space-time appears behind the altar. Inside the rift is an endless void filled with purple light. Manalkalaf. Today is the first day of my world conquest. Benedict is flung inside the rift. A deafening roar, likely that of a landslide, suddenly fills our ears. Oh, should I take my headphones off? I don't like the shaking. Okay, I'm fine. <clears throat> Laplace and Cassandra are now dead. So Laplace's world is now collapsing. Oh, I guess, yeah. The demon's connection to this world has now been severed. Is this the end? I don't want to die like this. Forgotten. Benedict must be prevented from bringing the demon to our world. We must stop him by whatever means are necessary. Okay, let's waddle. Save. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Enter the rift, of course. Cassandra's bracelet lies beneath the altar. After picking it up, I dive into the rift. Princess's bracelet acquired. Yeah, I guess time to beat Cthulhu. How strange this space seems. Purple light is coming from all around. <laughs> One poor Cthulhu. So you're implying I, I need to find a book on taxes and read that book of taxes to Cthulhu. Um... There are no buildings, only a road that stretches onward. Um, but this road over here. Oh my goodness, don't tell me it's a maze. Okay, no. <clears throat> Fantasy taxes, yes. Oh god, I think it's a maze. It's a maze, no! I don't want a maze of my end game shenanigans, no! Am Dusty, guess? Bye bye. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it said it was a straight path. The text lied to me. Oh, a door. Oh, 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 there's what's this pickle. Louis Van waits for me here. So you came this far, but I can't let you interfere as I s sacrifice Benedict. Oh my goodness, Benedict's being used. What a twist, even though we that. Sacrifice Benedict? Didn't Laplace tell you? Surely you recall. To summon Laplace's demon into a world, one with mem memories of that world must be offered to it as a sacrifice. Or old Benedict now occupies the fool. He pro he's probably going before Laplace's demon right now. Never once considering that he's fallen right into my little trap. What a twist! This is all too much. He thought himself a king, but instead was but a pawn. I didn't expect you to follow Benedict, but your presence helped to confuse the place, so thanks. But your future ends here. Okay, I gotta I gotta show you my the ring and be like, bitch please. Um <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, I just glitched. Oh my goodness, I, I clicked all the text. Oops. Oops. Oops, I did something. Oh my goodness, I, I did something. I need an adult. I, I did something. 
Um, I'm just gonna throw items at him, just cause. <laughs> but I know it's the ring I'm supposed to show him. Pa uses the Elder Ring. Magic pours out of the ring and Louis Van screams and draws back. That ring, the sigil, keep it away from me. <laughs> so that damn Laplace figured out my true origin. The ring's magic reveals Louis Van's true form. His illusion is shed. Oh, what a twist. His face remains that of a handsome youth, the wings of a bad girl on his back. That kind of rhymes. And the lower half of his body becomes that of a horrid giant serpent. Louis Van showed us his real body, and it was uglier than ugly should ever be. You think you're going to live past this, but you have no idea. Monoglyph. Excuse <clears throat> me. Oh my. Louis Van appeared. He's. He looks smaller. Alright, let's beat the snot out of him. <clears throat> Um, let's try... Vanish? What What do you know for spirit? Okay, deism. Poncho. Nope, that didn't work. I died! What? <laughs> what? Ah! Oh no! Uh... Well, I do have an item to resurrect her, but I'm gonna see if I can just beat the snot out of him. Uh, I was not expecting that. that spell. I d I'm assuming my medium or maybe it's a dabble only spell, but actually what does elixir do? <clears throat> Deadly ice cream. Oh, okay, no nothing happened there. I wonder if that's actually a resurrection spell. I'm just gonna try it. I really shouldn't be trying stuff at this fight, but I'm, I'm really curious if I can get Pa back. <clears throat> nope, not enough MP. Okay. Oh wait, he's got a special. Um, I don't remember what things do in here. I think I'm just better off fighting. Oh, he's got a special. And you better use special. Oh, well, there we go. We survived. But still, I will not yield. <clears throat> I must use a place's demon to invade and conquer other worlds. From that dark desire was I made, and it shall be. So, to you, Laplace was only just a means to an end. Even though Laplace was... <laughs> as I talk out of the burlap sack. <laughs> we must hurry. If Laplace's demon kills Benedict, we'll all be in terrible danger. Okay, well, let me, um, let me... Let me resurrect my dying character. Um, I do have an item to resurrect. <clears throat> um... 
generates physical injury. Is it so should be evil for pain? Bring back the ability to fight. Ha ha! Suck it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a rest. And then I'm going to. Because I like, you know, order. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <clears throat> you go away. Actually, that looks like, um,. Ors from Shimigami Tensei. I think his name's Ors. The cat guy with the two swords. The leopard. Oh, I see a form before me made a shadow. God damn it, Benedict. In the center flows a giant eye, one that seems to be seeing everything. It's Laplace's demon. Roll credits. Laplace's demon, come before me, I command you. Benedict holds up an amulet and points it at the demon. Tentacles that were before crawling from a figure now withdraw as if afraid. Stop. Louis Van has tricked you. You can't control the place's demon that way. Don't talk such nonsense. With the extinction of the place's bloodline, the demon's mind to control. But the tentacles are already behind Benedict. Oh my goodness. Oh no, Benedict, look up behind you. Before he could even turn, the tentacles have him. He's lifted up, then crushed. Squishy. N no. He burst. He burst open. Then a wet red pulp of flesh. Wow. They're not. They're not. You know, shorting us on description. Blood pours down into the demon's shadowy maul. Oh, he just got a good old snack of iron. I hear a satisfied grunt, and space around it twists and tears like fabric. <clears throat> oh god, what's happening? Chest of the place's world collapse, so to here. There is no more need for that demon to sustain it. Is this it? Is this where we die? Spades itself rips apart as the ground disappears beneath our feet. We're hurtled into a rift between dimensions. The princess's bracelet el elopes us, or uh, whatever. Bury yourself with a warm glow. Yay, English. It protects us as we enter the dimensional rift. What's going on? It's the power in the princess's bracelet. It appears to have been imbued with protective magics. This magic will sustain us within this place. So where are we headed? To a place with music, please. We're taking the path of least resistance. And that would mean we're being sent right back to our own world. But we're not done yet. Look behind you. There behind you, floating in the void as you are, is the place's demon. The spirit of Benedict is pulling it to our world. It's time to put ugly here down for good. But how? Look up ahead. There's an elder, elder sign we can take back to Weathertop Hill. We'll seal it behind us as we go through. Thereby trapping the place's demon here in the dimensional rift. Until then, we really should try and get more distance from this thing. I return to the other sign at Weathertop Hall. The place's demon appeared. Oh my, you're an ugly one. Can I talk to it? Let's talk to it. Oh. Ooh, the music. Sorry. Um... <clears throat> Damn, the music got good. <laughs> These were machine guns. Well, Alec is really gonna be using that machine gun. I mean, I bought him like 150 pieces of ammo. Oh, I'm out. Um.
Um, do I have anything to heal? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm curious. What? A picture? Well, I'm just gonna highlight my entire casual play of Place on Mall and it would be available for all those people to watch. So ha. <clears throat> oh, you mean camera. Oh, right. Shit. Oh, wait, that's it? We survived. Oh, that's it? I return to the outer sign at Weathertop Hall. The place's demon is right on our asses. Destroy the damn Elder Sun already. No ammunition and no supernatural powers left. I reached out and took a bit of my own spirit and thrust it into the sign. It was destroyed. That day, a huge earthquake tore through the very center of New Cam. Nightmares still linger among some, but no worse. Laplace's demon never made it to our world. I went back to Weathertop Hall the next day, but the outer signs had vanished. Now the memories of those events feel like half-forgotten dreams. But then I take hold of Cassandra's bracelet and Laplace's crown. And I remember it all. Benedict and his quest to revive his mother. Louis Van's diabolical schemes playing Benedict for a pawn. King Laplace, who built a perfect future and lost all to that perfection. Cassandra, who loved her father, even though she opposed him. Louis Van, who joked at the tragedy born from Laplace's death. So much pain and loss, all for a perfect future. Laplace's demon is a horrid thing. It's omnipotent power not meant to be, but... Those who would use it to further their own ends are all the more monstrous. I can look outside and see the town of Newcam becoming itself again, just like the quiet days of yesteryear. But the future is beyond our knowledge now, and that uncertainty is what makes life worth living. We decided to end our investigation. Time to put this weirdness behind us and move on. Pa, I think I shall stay a time longer. Benedict and Laplace's demon may be gone now, but many more evils lurk in the dark corners of this world. Yeah, this is GG. Kenichiro smiled. <clears throat> Perhaps one day we'll face such evils together again. Farewell. Yeah, that's it. It was very, um... I, I feel like that final boss should have went longer. I was not expecting it to end that abruptly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, thoughts. I really like the game. I'm, I'm very happy that I finally got to actually playing the game and enjoying it. Um, aw, poor doggo. Hopefully your doggo's feeling better. Um, I, I will highlight the rest. I'll keep it as a casual playthrough. Uh, I really liked it, although there is flaws to it. Um, the Holy Star makes it faster? Oh my goodness, I could imagine. Um, but yeah, I can there I can, there are some flaws to this game. Um that middle part dragged. 
the stupid mirror maze was kind of a pain. Um, once the ending, I want to say it felt rushed, but like once I got to the end game, I was granted I took advantage of fighting that skeleton for a good thirty minutes, but like I definitely like it. I definitely once I did that night grinding, and I think just. Maxing out some of this, their skills to level 10, that end fight was just kind of a joke. Um, yeah, I hated the mirror maze and I really hated the boat quest. Like, I felt like those two really put the game to a halt. Um, the vagueness of- the, the game is very vague, though. That's the other thing I wasn't a fan of. Um, apparently, though, there are a bunch of mysteries in this game that... Oh, thank you, I. Thank you for the GG. You have a good night. Thank you for watching. Um, we can actually take this time now to kind of maybe talk about those. Because um, I've been kind of not looking at that part of this guy's guide. Because apparently he's keep this person's been keeping notes of, like mystery stuff that's hap that he noticed that never got mentioned. Uh, mysteries and various issues. That's the other thing. The reporter was good at the beginning. Um, and then um, by, by the set, like middle of the game, I feel like I didn't need the reporter. And I, I honestly, I could have rolled my main character um, to a different class. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah. Oh, actually they mentioned something. So what does the crown do? We never used it. Um, I do know how to refer to the crown, but I even managed to get 255 crowns. Oh, never mind. It's just some weird theory stuff. Um, but yeah, like, I really could have just skipped the reporter and used, like, the reporter character to a certain point. Yeah, but even then, like, I could have maybe switched my character, like, put my main character as, like, a medium. And then just use the reporter. Or have another detective and then have two melees plus uh, Kenichiro, even though I think I'm saying his name wrong, and then just, you know, annihilate things. Um, okay, so there's still mysteries. The dancing aristocrats, odd but spooky, but why would the guards tell us about them if there was nothing we can do? They get precious little information and are seemingly unaffected by Moldov's death. One couple floats through the air and outside the room when you come back later. Um, they did say, that, granted, like you said, this is going against the first version of the translation. They did mention the aristocrats gladly accepted Moldov's magic and sacrificed themselves, essentially, to forever dance. Um, uh, I don't think there's a way to actually heal them or cure them. The lizard men... Shu joins your party if your parlay skill is at least seven for one character. However, he gives out no clues about his possible quest. I don't know who Shu is. I'm, ass I'm assuming that is the lizard man, possibly. He does mention something about finding his friend when you drop him for Benedict. But the lizard man you find in the trophy room and merchant building have nothing to say to you regarding Shu. The lizard man in the trophy room still attacks you. To make things even more interesting, the lizard man residing near the merchants also happens to have a small avatar picture like shoes. Okay, so Shu, we talked to him. He never joined us. <clears throat> the lizard man in the zoo. Yeah, I, he never joined us. I don't know if he would have if we had our speak easy to a max level. Um, but I know you mentioned, McTeddy, that... Um, they could have just kind of stopped that quest from happening with the new um, patch. Um, 
Again, Azo's room hacking reveals another unfinished quest as there's no text, nor are there any other flags for Shu. So it is, there was no other flags for it. Um, the Insanes, I remember these guys. The first oddity is the sacred salts. How do you purify a madman with sacred salts? You get two of those, one for the spirit. Sorry, my phone went off. Okay. Uh, one for the spirit guarding a pentagram and the second for a madman, we presume. Uh, yeah, sorry. This said, the first maniac answers you when you talk to him, but the second maniac just attacks you. Any possible way to purify him? Also the young woman on the second floor, the one who talks about the water growing black, I remember her, seems insane. Uh, no, I don't think there's a way to actually... Oh, no, actually, so apparently this quest is also unfinished. Um, so you are supposed to help the madmen and woman, but they never finish the quest. So, yeah, there's another one that they just dropped. Um, there are two ways to beat the knight. You can choose between the... Oh, I remember you saying this, McTeddy. You can choose between the Holy Cup and the Talisman. But why doesn't anyone tell you about the powers of the Holy Cup? Why get two items? This is also the case. Okay. Um, that doesn't matter. I think because the English pa English uh, version 2.0, the English patch fixed that. Um, beating the game with Kusanabe is still dead. Interesting. I never had the heart to do this, but you get a different ending if Kusanabe isn't brought back to life. Interesting. I never thought of that. I don't think I would. I, I Kusanabe was such a vital character and even like just as a melee fighter, he was a beast. Um, well, is all being cruel and heartless sort of did here with, oh, he, someone actually did. Uh, perhaps the most thing she part to be short, it is possible to end the game without resurrecting Kusanabe or Kusakabe. Or without him have or with or without him in the end game party, which interesting has the same results and makes me e think even more that the game was quite rushed. If you do either of these two options, here are two differences. No chit chat between Kusanabe, Kusakabe, and Beyond when Beyond joins the party on floor two. Oh, they they're talking Baynard, Bayard, all dialect parts which is spoken by him. If he's in the end game, are spoken by the person who is the second slot character. If you have the main character in the second slot, it would be the first slot character who speaks his lines. If you get the bad ending, there only be one sentence missing. But Kenichio stayed in the town. <clears throat> if you get the good ending, you won't see the scene. Let's we'll say he'll stay a little bit longer and tells your main character they may meet again someday. Not much of a loss, okay. What's most interesting is the fact it makes absolutely no difference if you leave him alone. Um, but you don't have him in your final party makes sense, but it's weird. Getting back to normal, only one thing is still quite bugging me. Why the heck is Kusanabe's hair blonde in the torture chamber? Yeah, that's a good question. Why is his hair blonde and then his hair went to black? Um, I'm assuming it's just an easier way to easy design choice um okay as you suggest that there is an instance a name <clears throat> instance of the name jabon being used in the rom instead of janbon could be a mistranslation um European characters. Some guard and the master servant appear after their death. You can't talk to them, but they're there. Um, <clears throat> the waterfall. Near the western outside wall of the castle's fifth floor, there's a waterfall that brings you down to the mirror maze at the cost of severe damage. Oh, I didn't find that. Um, interesting. Is Anita the right? You save her with Ryan. And he's going ask you, any way to convince... Oh, yeah, Anita, yeah. Um, I'm assuming she just disappeared. I think she... I think they mentioned she never wanted to be a maid to begin with, so she may have just ran away. 
As for the next trick, Adolf is found inside of a jail cell. Oh, right, yeah, he appeared again when I had <clears throat> um, Adolf. So that must be just a glitch. Um, there's many bugs we found in the game. Um, shop clerk and drive. Oh, interesting. Okay, so not much else is mentioned. They're talking about glitches. Um, yeah, there's not much else in regards to mysteries, but... Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking, Booster. Um, like, it's unfortunate that they... You know, this game was rushed. Like, it doesn't feel rushed, but, like, <clears throat> it doesn't, but at the same time, like, you. <sighs> like, it, it kind of bums me out that, like, it, it was rushed. I would have never suspected this game being rushed. Yeah, the third act was pretty short. But, like, I. I uh hi red yeah you missed the ending we got the good ending um i'm going to i'll i'll put a a vod up and everything so don't worry you can always go back and watch it uh we're just reading like the mysteries and some things that weren't, weren't uh loose ends that weren't tied up at the end um But yeah, like, I... Yeah, like, I, I'm not gonna go through this all. Um, but yeah, even, like, the bestiary, I really didn't want to finish that. Um, which is unfortunate. And I really wish they missed an, they really missed an opportunity to do something special with the bestiary. I really enjoy this game though. Don't get me wrong. There's so many faults to it, but I really enjoy it. Is there a new game plus though? I'm curious. I'm just gonna restart. I doubt there's a new game plus. The guy never mentioned it. Also, this bugs me quite a bit. The Benedict didn't look like Benedict, and that's kind of irking me. Like. May like maybe that's maybe that's mostly Kusanabe, but I that's I I'm pretty confident that is indeed Benedict. But like the character design is really weird between the two. Yeah, I don't think there is a new game plus. I it'd be nice just to experience the game again. Um. I, I guess that kind of looks like Benedict, but like... That's true. I did see, like, pictures of the characters, and it definitely had more of a westernized appearance compared to this version. All right. So what happens if I go continue? Am I going back to... Okay. So... Wait. Is there anything I can do? I granted, I think I'm just stuck. And I don't think you can actually go back and do stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm guessing that, like, you can't go do anything else. 
I think you're just stuck with the end game shenanigans. <clears throat> Did they ever make a sequel to La Place No Ma, McTeddy? Actually, since we are character portraits, like I see Kusakabe looks like the guy on the cover. With a cloak in that. Like, he looks. I, I'm pretty confident that's supposed to be Kusakabe on the cover and not Benedict. There are two sequels. Okay. Okay. There's two sequels Sword of Palace and Mask of Death. Interesting. But yeah, I'm assuming there's nothing else you can do here. I'm assuming... Uh, I'm guessing... Part, I would have to say Baird does bite the dust. I could be wrong. It almost feels like it because it is story driven. I'm interested, McTeddy, but at the same time, like, I would really want to patch... <clears throat> Like an English patch for the sequels. Um, the secret Cassandra to follow. Yeah, I figured. Okay. But. I I don't have much else to do. I really enjoy the game. Speedrunning wise, I'm almost tempted. I'm really tempted to learn the speedrun of this. It's only a 45 minute run. And I'm pretty confident this is just going to be a beeline straightforward. Point A to point B, go, go, go. I, I'm having enough problems trying to get people to translate ancient Roman. I, I, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm almost tempted to learn the run, but, um, this has actually worked, um, wonders because I need to work on Lunar Walking School tomorrow and Saturday at least do a recording for submissions um, But I am going to end the stream here. I need to start making dinner